Hi everyone, uh, Catherine here, thank you for your I did say last time I probably wouldn't get another look of Robux. I changed my mind. I love the denim jacket I brought last time. Love it, so I decided it was worth another punt. Um, so, unboxing time. What I will say is on the weight loss journey, it's not going brilliantly well. I have put some weight on the top. So, these might not be the right size anymore, but we'll see. Oh, there's a fair amount of stretching in them, might be right. So, skinny, high waist, push-up jeans. I don't know what push-up jeans are, but nice, soft, but like a jegging. So they're nice. Yeah. Just about the length of them, whether they're too long or not, we'll see. Ooh. Skirt. It's nice. Looks very slim. Mm. Yeah, I think that's going to be too small. It says UK size 12. I'm definitely not a 12 yet. But there is some stretch in it. And I am still intending to lose more weight. So, pretty flowery top, this looks nice, looks like it might fit, v-neck top which is nice, might be nice for work type stuff. with the boobs because quite often it get oh it's not the buttons so it, oh it might be all right this then how pretty it's not a color i would normally wear but i like that looks nice nice fabric it's quite sheer I suppose, but oh what's this oh a jacket <gasps> no i was looking for a navy jacket Quite nice. Oh, my uh, Fitbit's just fallen off into the box. There. And then the returns back. And all the paperwork. So, that's after the bill. So, yeah, that's the bill. Leave that face down in the box. And I'll try things on. fits really nicely. I mean my tummy's big which makes that very flirty but there's nothing I can do about that. But there is something I do about that but um, that's going to take time. But it's nice fabric. It's got a nice amount of stretch to it. The colour does make my washed out legs look even more washed out and I'm quite happy with it. The top I don't know how see-through it is because I've got black bra on underneath, so it's possibly a little bit see-through, um, but I wouldn't normally wear a black bra. Bear with us, I go and have a little look in the mirror again. Yes, I'm, I'm liking both of these, so cost-dependent, I like. Right, jacket today. I haven't looked at this in the mirror yet, so we won't get to see this before I do. length as usual probably a little long it's nobody else's fault just need to have a short hand but that could be easily tacked up into place um so that'll be fine it feels comfortable feels a bit a bit shoulder paddy there's, yeah there is definitely pads in there but um can button it up probably a little bit stretchy yep mirror time I like it. I think that it's all rucked up at the back because of labels more than anything. It needs a good iron or a 
wash your hair. Oh yeah, it's a machine, it's washable, it feels washable. To be very good the right length. That's how much of a turn up I'm gonna have to do. Not impossible though. I think I possibly just about magic that. Um, really feel nice. Do I need a new pair of jeans? Probably not. Um, but yeah, they're nice. They feel comfy. They don't feel too tight. Um, I've not really got a pair of high-waisted jeans. Um, I like these. So, one more top to try. Okay. I like the top and it fits nicely. I'm wondering if it's a bit mumsy. So it would be very much dependent on cost and whether it would be worth it. Well done look over them, though. They've done a good job. There's nothing that I immediately went, Ugh. Or ruled out immediately. So I'm very happy they seem to have taken the feedback on board. So, cost time. Okay, firstly, apologies that of the state that I look in. I'm about to do loads of housework. Um, and today is Brave the Shave Day, so it's the last day with hair. So I will make a bit of an effort for uh, the party later, but for now it's just as it came out of the shower. Right. Okay, so the whole box, £134.98. That's not bad. Okay, so let's have a look. This, £33. Probably wouldn't spend £33 on that, but I do really like it. So it's not a no yet. Okay, the, the jacket, that's a good price, that's only £40, £39.99 for the jacket, that's, that's good that, so that's, that I don't think is overly priced, this navy top, dark blue, $24.99, probably wouldn't pay $24.99 for that, if I'm honest. Oh my word. shock actually this which I did think was lovely 60 pounds so that lovely 60 pounds 60 pounds it is lovely 60 pounds I've never spent £60 on a top in my life. Because it said that's how much the jacket was. That's cool. Can I think I understand. Fair enough. For a blouse. Everything I have. It's gorgeous though. And the jeans. Jeans are £32, so perfectly acceptable for a pair of jeans. You know what? They shouldn't tell me what the individual prices are because. Okay. So 
there's two decisions to make. Okay, if I have all of that, it's 134.98. Although I've already paid ten pounds for it, so it's actually 134.98. But hmm, 145 pounds of Epic Poems. Doesn't look like it, does it? Um. Okay, the skirt I'm saying no to. The blouses I'm also saying no to. They're, they're definite notes. There's no way. The only one that I think I would have gone for was that one, but not at 60 pounds. I can't think about that. But this, 34, uh, 39 dollars um, Do I want 32 pounds? Do I want to that? That would be seventy one ninety nine. Sixty one ninety nine. I've already paid the ten pounds. Very tempted with the jacket, very tempted with the jeans. I think I might take both of them. We'll see. I just oh that is just it's lovely. Lovely. I do I need another pair of jeans. That's what the other thing that's going through my head. Do I need another pair of jeans? I have got a couple of pairs of jeans upstairs. Why would I need another pair of jeans? Navy jacket might come in useful for sort of some stuff at work. I've got a couple of dresses that it would look nice with and it looks okay with the jeans. A lightish summer jacket. Okay, I'm going to ponder. They're my potential keeps. They're my definite discards. I would say this is not Lucky Roo's fault in terms of me not keeping everything. They've done a good job and I did like everything. The, the slightly nunsy type top, uh, that's probably not something I would ever choose. And the thing that's putting me off the skirt is just because I want to wear it without tights and my legs are just the wrong shade of ridiculously pale to go with that tiny pale skirt uh, it makes them look worse so that's the thing that's put me off that the cost is the only thing that's put me off that because that is gorgeous and I think, do you know what, even if I kept that and it's the only thing I kept and therefore it's 50 quid because I've already paid the 10 quid so 50 quid for a pair hmm. right, I'm going to go for now though because I need to go out and do the shopping which is what the husband came in to disturb me for um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little weird look at my looker room. Um, I'm I'm really impressed that this time they've got it completely right in terms of they're all things that I liked. Um, I think the cost on that top has just blown my mind. Until I saw that that was sixty quid, I was keeping it, and now I'm like, it is gorgeous, but sixty quid, sixty quid. It's not a jacket, something I'm going to wear occasionally for work or occasionally socially. But still, 60 quid's worth it. So, hmm. I probably will get another look at box at some point in the future though, because they're getting better. Definitely improved. There was nothing that was an outright no. So, from that point of view, they've definitely learned from the feedback, so I'm really happy. So, next time you see me, there will be crafting videos coming up, but my little clip thing that I used to film over my desk is broken, so I need to order a new one. Um, but yes, there will be a video um, of Brazer Shave later on, uh, probably tomorrow, I'll probably upload that. So, until then, bye!